Good morning. It's morning coffee with Sandy. Have an asshole free day. Yeah. Mm. I kind of have to keep my glasses on this morning because I'm not seeing very well. But the sun is up and it's bright and cheery. And yes, good morning, sunshine for reals. What a cool day. You know what's so cool about it? It's George Burns's. Well, it's, I'm calling it his memory day. It's the anniversary of the day he died, but he's like so special in my heart. We'll talk about him a lot today. Anyway, um, okay, so first I want to share some trivia with you that I can take my glasses off for this because I think I know this without reading anything. I did use my eye drops this morning though. Um, anyway, raspberries. Blackberries, strawberries are not berries. I, I don't mean to I don't mean to start your day by getting you upset. So let me give you something in the place of that information. Oranges, avocados, eggplant, wait, there's more. Grapes, tomatoes, cucumbers, and bananas are actually berries. <laughs> Somebody told me these weird things yesterday, so I started like doing some research. Oh, talk about too much time on your hands, huh? I started doing some research because that didn't even seem possible to me. But lo and behold, apparently a fruit that's produced from the ovary of a single flower in which the outer layer develops into edible fleshy portions that's a berry. And those are the things I just told you are berries. Grapes, tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplants, avocados, bananas. Apparently blackberries are okay. But the others are, I forget what the word for it was, like multiple something or others. Because there's multiple ovaries. Just saying. I know. That's that's like such cool. Like remember when you first learned that a tomato was a fruit, not a vegetable, and you were like blown away. How could that be? Now you find out that strawberries are not berries. Next thing you know, they're going to tell you that smoking is no good for you. Oh, yeah, we did that the other day, huh? Um, 1842, today, right here, well, not right here in the desert, but right here in California, gold rush happened, and the world started running to California. Yeah, it's a big state now, <laughs> but the streets are not paved with gold, so don't come running because you think you're going to get a gold mine. Not like that anymore. Nope. Good morning, my darling. Um, 41 degrees calling for 60. That's pretty warm where you are. We had, um, we had winds to yesterday. I mean, it was like in gorgeous, like 80, but the winds started picking up and apparently there are going to be some like crazy storms for the next 48 hours. Although I'm looking outside and it's overcast, but it's not windy at all. It's Nothing's moving out there. So I'm hoping tennis is on today. I, we'll see. Um, today's bang clang day. That sounded like fun. I was kind of excited to look that up and find out about it. But it's really just the anniversary of the first fight, battle, battle, yeah, battle, between two metal ships, the Monitor and the Merrimack. <laughs> bang, clang, get it, you know, from, I guess, from things hitting each other. So I was a little disappointed to find out that it was just armored war and not something like chitty, chitty, bang, bang, fun type stuff. What else? It's organize your home office day. I had my taxes all done and I was supposed to meet with my new accountant yesterday, but ah, uh, she canceled at the last minute. I'm not excited about this, my friends. It's hard to get a new accountant. It's like falling in love all over again, and you have to go through all the old stories all over again. Palm trees are grass? I didn't know that either. Thank you. Indy says palm trees are grass. <sighs> and and Opa's celebrating t-shirt weather, and we have it all the time. I'm wearing a sweater right now because that's a little chilly. Um. 
It's National Barbie Day in 1959 at the New York Toy Fair. Barbie was introduced. I, I don't remember having a Barbie. I remember my friends having Barbies and being very jealous that they had those beautiful, like, dolls with, like, boobies and stuff. And I didn't have boobies back when 1959 rolled around. Yeah, but I remember my daughter had a lot of... Um, Barbies and she wasn't a doll person. So as she got older, she kind of sold them off. Wish we had them now, huh? Um, let's see. So organize your office, find your old Barbie dolls, eat crab meat today, and meatballs. Today is National Meatball Day. Found a meatball, found a meatball. Okay, but most important, it's National Get Over It Day. So how do you get over it? Okay, I have an idea for you. Here's what I want you to do. Whatever it is that you're dealing with that you just can't seem to get over, I'm serious about this now because I tried it once and it worked. Get a metal bowl. Write down what it is that's got you tied up in knots that you can't seem to deal with. Fold it up. Get a lighter. Set it on fire. Drop it in the metal bowl so nobody gets hurt, nothing gets burned, and let it go up in smoke. It is so amazing to me how when you do that and you let it just go, it goes. You can do this. It's a national let it go day. Pick something. I don't care what it is. Something big, something small that's just been eating at your craw that you just, what does eating at your craw even mean? But just get rid of it. Burn it up. Poof. Poof. Disappear it. Get rid of it day. It's also fanny pack day. So can I tell you a cute little story? The very first time I was in Australia, now maybe it wasn't even the first time. Maybe I'd been there a few times. I had this group of kids with me. They were the children and nieces and nephews of my friends. There were four of them. And we went into town. I believe we were in Mildura and we went into town to go shopping because I liked lamingtons and they wanted to go with me to go to the bakery. And we stopped at this salvage place where they had these fanny packs and I, and they were like a dollar or something, an Australian dollar, which was like $2 at the time. So I said, Oh, I'm going to buy a bunch of these Australian fanny packs and take them home as souvenirs. And the children all went like this. They were in absolute shock. And I looked at them and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. And then another adult there said, you're an American, aren't you? And I said, I am? Well, what did I just do? Turns out Fanny over there, you know how everything is like upside down and backwards, like toilets flush the opposite way and stuff. Well, apparently a Fanny is not your butt. It refers to the other side, and it's not a very nice word. And I just tried to convince all these young children that they should get one too. Ouch. Yeah. Don't say fanny pack when you get to Australia. It's also unique name day. I think I told you, um, Years and years and years ago, I was in high school. I had this weird disease that had me in bed for months, and I got bored. And my mother brought me stacks of L.A. phone books, you know, because back in those days, they had the really big, thick phone books. And I would go through these phone books for hours looking for weird names and unique names. And I kept a running list. But the only one I remember was the last name. It's for real. I'm not making this up. Last name. Outhouse, middle initial D, first name Dwayne. Yeah, that's right. Dwayne D. Outhouse. Uh huh. Okay. What's your favorite crazy name? Uh, my mother went to school with a girl named Theodosia Levy, and I was in the sixth grade with Marilyn Carroll, Marie Rose, Loretta Jean Thompson. My daughter went to school with a girl named Summer Breeze. Come on. Give me some crazy names. I know you know some crazy names. Um, 
All right, let's see what's next. Oh my God, there's so much today. Um, today, well, not today particularly, but from March 6th to March 21st, so it's it's happening right now, is the Iditarod in Alaska. And that's where they do this thousand mile dog sled run race. It's like you have not lived until you have gone dog sledding. Seriously. My, my, my buddy, formerly my cousin, Susan and I went dog sledding in Wyoming while the rest of our crew was skiing. We didn't like skiing. So we wanted to do something else. And we decided we thought it would be fun and easy to go dog sledding. It was fun, but it wasn't easy. And we were up as high as the highest skiers. Those dogs go all the way to the top of the mountains. It was so exciting. You're you're in this thing like a Roman gladiator and you're holding on to the reins and trying to stand up at the same time and you're leading the dogs kind of like if you were riding a horse. So at first we were all bundled up sitting in the like sled part and the person who took us up in the mountains was leading the dogs. Then she stopped the dogs at some point and took us one at a time showed us what we needed to do, stayed there with us for a short time, which is not easy because it's not a big space. And then finally, she sat down and we took charge. I got to tell you, dog sledding was right up there with the three most exciting things I've ever done. And I'm not sure what one and two are, but that might have been one or two. It was awesome. (laughs) <laughs> a girl in high school for Opa was April, May, June. That was her name. And Indy says that he knows of a dentist named Dr. Ow. <laughs> and Opa's do- eye doctor is Dr. Near. And there was, when I was living in LA, driving down Hawthorne Boulevard, it used to crack me up every time. There was a gynecologist's office and the doctor's name was Dr. Wanamaker. Seriously, would you go to a gynecologist with that name? I wouldn't. All right. Can we get to the most important thing for today? For me, the most important thing. Today is the anniversary of George Burns's death. Not I'm happy because he died. I am just so happy because he lived. I was a huge, huge fan of George Burns. And I did actually get to meet him. I don't mean like say hi. I mean like spend a little time with him. I can't tell you the whole story now. I know I told it like a few months ago. And I will tell it again, but not today because it, it'll it take the whole 15, 20 minutes that we allow for morning coffee. But suffice it to say that I got to be in his dressing room with him. And he's not much taller than I am. And his glasses were like as thick as Coke bottles. And he had his cigar. And Oh my God, he was so awesome. And I was completely tongue-tied. Me, I had nothing to say. I was in George Burns' dressing room, just him, my girlfriend, and me, and I. (laughs) And he looked at me and he said, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? And I looked at him and I thought, okay, If you blow this and you don't talk to this man, I'm going to be really mad at you, Sandy. So I looked at him and I said, I'm so sorry. Now you have to remember this was back in the, I'm going to guess it was like the late 80s, early 90s. And oh God and oh God too were like a big deal right then. And I looked at him and I said, I've never been in the presence of God before, and I don't know what to say. You would have thought I was the comedian and and I had the cigar. George Burns started laughing and gave me a hug. He thought I was so funny. (laughs) Okay, that's all I'm telling you about George Burns today, but I swear to you, I will tell you that story again because he was... uh, Seriously, I just didn't know what to say. I love 
George Burns. Truly, truly. So much so that I, I got you some of his famous quotes. I mean, he was a comedian. The guy was funny. For instance, he said, happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family living in some other city. <laughs> um, he said, you can't help getting older, but you don't have to get old. And that would be my Fritzy report today. She's getting older, but it's hard for me to think of her as being old because she keeps popping back and fighting through. They, She keeps falling. And I keep getting calls from hospice saying, she's 97 and a half years old. And she gets up from every one of these and she never has a scratch and she never has a bump. And she's amazing. That's Fritzy. She's amazing. Happiness, George Burns says, happiness is a good cigar, a good meal, a good cigar, and a good woman. Or a bad woman. It depends on how much you can handle. Don't stay in bed unless you can make money in bed. It only takes one drink to get me drunk. Trouble is, I can never remember if it's the 12th or the 13th. If you live to be 100, you've got it made because very few people die past that age. Okay, I love this one. He said, when I was a boy, the Dead Sea was only sick. He did live to 100 or 101. I mean... He, oh, he was amazing. So finally, I then leave you with this morning's word art because it's a take on another of his little riffs. Live in the now, but look at the future because you're going to be spending a lot of time there. George Burns, this is to you. And my friends, I love you. Thank you once again for being with me this morning. Have a phenomenal, fabulous Tuesday. Don't forget, meatballs and crab meat. Crab meatballs? No, I don't think so. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.